What's going on everybody? My name's Kevin and welcome to a little config update. It's been over a year now that I didn't update it, but overall I didn't update it that much. With that being said, let's just jump right into it, lay down all the things, and I hope that you will be more knowledgeable about my stuff than before. I'm just gonna lay down all the important things in this video, so that all these kind of little slight adjustments, these little config things, these little comments, are down below in the description if you download the full config. Then you get the whole shebang, what you want to know, what you want to see. Just download it, open up an editor, notepad, slash whatever you want to open it with, and then you're good to go. So I'm playing with 1280 to 960 full screen stretched on my 69 monitor. As you can see in all my videos or on my stream, that is no black bars. I'm playing as you can see it in the videos or on the stream. My video settings are all just maxed out, as you see on the screen right now. I'm playing with that on the stream, and I'm using it for my videos, obviously, all maxed out to get the best quality out there. It just looks better on the videos as well as when playing. If I play and if I happen to play a tournament like the Staff Cup, you see right now the video settings on the screen that I'm actually using when I'm kind of trying harder. If you're wondering about the resolution, guys, by the way, this is not advantages. Actually, if you start off right now, I'd recommend a 69 resolution because of all these field of view things that happen. I mean, you've seen probably a few videos about that already. So if you start out, I'd recommend 69. But those four free resolutions from back in the days, they are just used because people got used to it during Source 1.6. My radar settings on the screen right now as well shortly because a lot of people ask for it. It's simply the scale 0.4 that is making the difference. My view model is the classic one. It's just all maxed out pretty much. And on top of the things, you can obviously remove that. You can alter it the way you want it. My Bob Lower AMT is one for the videos, 15 for playing. A slight overview on my playing settings. I'm playing CL right hand zero. That means I'm playing left handed in game, even though I'm actually not left handed yet. That is kind of weird, but I'm just got used to it. There's no actual advantage from it, I believe so. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about that. Sensitivity is on one. Usually wasn't 0 0.6. Now I've uh, like upped it a little bit because I couldn't even do a 180 for that. Now I can slightly do a 180 from going from the left to the right side of the mouse, man. But yeah, that's pretty much about that. Sensitivity is zoom ratio is 1. View model is classic, just all maxed out. HUD scaling is dot zero five that you can see on the screen. It's like the HUD size around it. The video mode is 1280 to 960, as I've said. The radar seen this as well. Net graph is off because I think it's just taken away from the visuals. Then we have the crosser. The crosser everywhere wants that. It's right now on the screen as well. For playing, I have a red crosser. I've just altered it slightly. The gap is a little bit closer, a little bit more widened than before. I've altered the outline. There is no outline anymore and it is that red crosser that you see every time. The full thing is down below in the description if you want to have it copy pasted. If not, just download a config. That's the easiest way you can do it. The movie config is 1920 to 1080. It's 1080p pretty much for the YouTube videos. And the Matt Sit video mode is on zero. If I record with Shadowplay, that's what I'm usually using for the highlight videos. And it is on one if I record it via the host frame rip method. I'm going to touch on that in a tutorial pretty soon. I've said that actually last year, but actually pretty soon, I'm, I promise. The movie config also has another difference that I'm having the kill assists on zero. That means if someone gets an assist on the top right in the death notice, you do not see that in the video when I'm doing frag videos and such like that. The Bob Lower AMT is on one, and obviously for the videos, the right hand is on one as well. Post process enable zero, fog enable zero. Those are the most important comments. If you want to have the full thing of my movie config, down below in the Discord is everything for you. I've packed it all, I've named it all. I also altered the configs a little bit so I have kind of a few explanations in it. What, what, what is what and what the comment does what for you. So download it down below in the description. Please report it in the comment section if the link doesn't work anymore. I'm slightly, I'm gonna check once in a while in this video then after a few weeks or months to see if the config download is still up to date. So if it isn't, just let me know in the comments. I hope that helps. If you have a question, just leave it down below as well. And uh, with that being said, see you on the streams. See you in my videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace out. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.